confusion. Senate calls for sack of all 36 governors except Peter Obi as call for a general election for new governors is declared. Citizens. Hmm. 36 governors. But these 36 governors they are talking about um, they're supposed to be the past governors because they are the ones that were shortlisted. Okay, some incumbent ones were also included to the taxes governments. Okay, that's what it's what I see. But um, the Senate, do you, don't you think that this is happening? And so soon, and um, for the very first time, this very action will be taken in Nigeria. <laughs> this is going to be a very big disaster. And the yes, the law is the law can make it happen. Yes, as they are the lawmakers, and and since we uh, the Supreme Court has the, the the Constitution backing. It's very, very possible, but it's going to be a disaster, my people. No be small matter. All right, let's quickly just go straight to the content and then let's know what the Senate is actually planning. This is today's news. State governments could be stripped the powers to organize elections as a bill seeking to establish a federal agency for the conduct of local government elections on Thursday, July 18, scaled first reading in the Senate. Also, the Senate sitting has declared that there is going to be a sack of all state governments, those involved in criminal acts past and present. Except the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, who proved himself clean, other state governors should be ready to face the Senate. The ones that have been passed, that have retired, we have no choice than to pay a fine, or else they will be arrested. While the incumbent, we have a way out of the office. This is the decision of the Senate. This bill titled Local Government Independence Electoral Commission Establishment Bill 2024 and Past Government was sponsored by the Chairman of the Senate Committee on the Finance, Senator Sani Musa, APC, Niger State. Thank you for listening to today's news. All right, Nigerians, you've heard it anyway. Um, you see, this is one thing I tell you that Nigerians are doing, Nigerian leaders or governments are doing that is killing. You see that I said that it is disastrous. It is very, very disastrous. How can you all of a sudden just wake up and decide that all state governments? It's going to be very, very disastrous. Even to choose a governor it is going to be disastrous. We are, we are having it um, very tough having election on presidential election, not alone, not alone um, state, the uh, election for the whole states. Apa, my people. <laughs> I, I'm just hearing this, that this is going to happen. I'd like to know me, I'll just say, okay, um, let them be forced to pay back. You understand? Let them be forced to pay back. The ones that is discover that frauded the country should be forced to pay back. Why the ones that are still in government should not be just chased away or impeached, but rather they should also be given the same judgment. The same judgment uh, passed to those ones that have retired. They should be forced to be arrested, not to be impeached. But the arrest will now come uh, probably after they complete their tenure. 
you understand and that's just how i feel i don't know about you okay nigerians uh, it's a pleasure reaching out to you once again thank you for giving us your listening here um please uh don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section click on the red subscribe button as well as the bell button to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you